Hey, what's going on, YouTube? I think I found it. I think I finally have found the super rare 1996 American Silver Eagle that actually will grade a possible MS-70 PCGS NGC. Stay tuned. I'm going to show some details. I, I looked at this through a loop. I mean, it's amazing. It looks perfect to me. So let me know what you guys think. Give me a second to set this up. Let me put my, let me put a glove on. Take this out of the uh, out of the flip. I'm excited. Okay, so I've tried and tried and tried to find one of these. Um, they're currently listed on eBay. There's like I think there's two PCGS MS70 1996 American Silver Eagles, and um, I'll zoom in, and they're it's list they're like listed for 4300 bucks and then i looked at the pcgs website and it showed like the last time one actually sold i believe it was november of 2021 and uh the pcgs one sold for like 2300 bucks so anyways it, it's super exciting i'm going to try with this one let me see if i can zoom in even better um but i looked at this through a loop um there's not any defects whatsoever anywhere in the fields on the rays on the sun on the date the rim is perfect the fields are perfect there's no spots there's no milk spots um, liberty's face and chest which sometimes she can show um, and her arm can sometimes show some marks that make it a mint state 69 instead of 70. the rim of the coin or the edges are all perfectly intact. There's no dings. Um, basically on the reverse, you want to look at the shield. The shield is absolutely perfect. Inside the shield is absolutely perfect. The wings are perfect. No hits, no marks on the beak. Every single star is perfect. I looked at all the actual letters. Um, and the rim on this side, you know, the edges, absolutely perfect. So... I don't know what to do, guys. Like, I, and I've had a lot of 96s go through my hands. I'm not a, you know, professional dealer, but I've had a lot of these go through my hands. I've sold a ton of them. I've never, ever, ever had one this perfect. Like, where I can't find anything even under a loop. Like, I don't know if PCGS or NGC got this in their hands. Like, what would they find wrong with it? Why would it be, why would it be an MS-69 and not a 70? But here's the thing. So <laughs> is it politics? Do you have to know someone? Because the population report for PCGS 1996 American Silver Eagle, guess what, guys, is 199. That's super, super low. And that's why these are worth so much. So I don't know. I really don't know if I got a shot or not. Um, let me see if I can do it without the loop. Like, am I am I gonna waste my time again? <laughs> like, I think I've gotten better at it, but I don't know what to do. Like, it, it's it's upsetting if this doesn't come back as a mint state seventy. Now, don't get me wrong, an MS sixty nine would be fine too. Like, this obviously would be an excellent excellent example, but I don't know what else to do. Like, if if this is not a seventy. I don't know what else is. And I've seen some 70s that have milk spots that like have they've actually grown milk spots on them. So I don't know, guys. I don't know what to do. But I just wanted to show you this cuz like it's so 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 rare to find one of these in the wild where there's not a little something on it, you know, like a little ding or definitely i mean these are very very common to have milk spots and this is in my led light booth like if it's showing milk spots this the lighting here shows milk spots on every single coin even milk spots that like someone was trying to hide so am i stupid like to submit this i don't know if i, just, if I sell it raw i don't think someone's gonna pay 100 bucks for it even though like i think i can even put in the description like it's perfect to me but um i think it's worth signing in um, I don't know, man. I don't know if I want to do a true view, like spend 48 bucks on it. Cause if it comes back, I meant state 69, 
I'm going to be pissed. I'm just going to crack it. Like I'm going to crack it out and resubmit it again. Like, I don't know if I want to play that game. And I don't know if I want to send it like normal because normal has been taking like three months. Like I don't want to wait three months and forget about this coin. So I might bite the bullet and actually send this in um, like faster. Uh Oh, is there a mark there? Well, let me look at her mini today. I don't know. There's like, there's some marks in the fields under the lighting, but it's nothing crazy. Are they going to call that at Men's State 69 because of the fields? Oh, no, I'm having second thoughts. <laughs> Let me look at it in a loop. Uh, I might have a mark under the, oh, that's only under this lighting though. I don't know, guys. I might just have a beautiful Mint State 69, 1996, American Silver Eagle, which there's a ton of them, right? I think these like go for like 85, 95 bucks. So I might just sell it raw. I don't know. I mean, I have this and I have that uh, reverse proof 20, whatever, 2016 that I'm going to, that I want to send in. Um, where the heck did that go? Like, cause anytime you send stuff to PCGS, like you want to send in like more than one. So I want to send this one in. Oop, I got that in the capsule, so that's okay. But I want to send this one in. I'm sorry, it was 2006. Wow, well, I was off. Reverse proof. Like, I want to send that in, just get it in a slab. Because it's awesome toning. And and I've done this before. Like, I'm not, I'm not like new to doing it. Um, let me zoom out. So my, like one of my first videos, like I've submitted a 96 before, you know, that it's toned naturally. And, um, obviously the 86 and I tried, tried so hard to get 86, uh, mint state 70. Cause I'm like, all right, well there's not, there's a lot, like a lot more of those. And those are only like, you know, less than a thousand, I think like going for 800 bucks. But like I tried, like I submitted and I spent like, what what was it? Like 38 bucks. Now it's like more expensive because I submitted these like a year and a half ago. Um, and uh, with the with the gold shield, you get like a true view image. And if you look at the true view image on each one of these coins on PCGS website, like they're perfect. Like, so I don't even know. They're like, yeah, yeah, whatever. Nice try for the Mint State 70, but you're nobody, dude. We're not giving that to you. We're just going to give you a bunch of 69s, which is like, dang. Because <laughs> when you get a 69 back, you can pick up a nice 86 Eagle um, wholesale, probably for like 45 or from someone that doesn't know what they're doing. But um, usually the real nice ones at the dealers, they can get 55 for them all day long, which I do. Like I sell them raw. But like you spend 55 for a real nice one, then you get a PCGS, you know, you get at least into the coin 40 bucks, then wait three months. Like, dude, I don't, I don't know if that's worth 90 Ninety dollars waiting for something that's not gonna be worth ninety dollars when it gets back. So I don't know, man. I just I love American Silver Eagles, but I don't know if I want to play this game again. Like I didn't, I didn't sell any of these. One, two, four, five, six. I got six of these. Like that's like six hundred dollars of just like dead inventory. Like I'm probably gonna have to like sell these and lose on them. But I've been trying. I'm waiting for the. Eagles that kind of come back up in value. So maybe when spot increases, um, but I, I probably got to get rid of these so I can invest the PCGS grading and stuff into these, especially this one, man, if it, I think it like, it's not just the money at that point. I think it'd just be cool. Like say I got a mint state 70, 1996. It's worth at least two grand wholesale, right? To somebody. I mean, they're asking for, so you know, someone would easily drop two grand on it. So that would, to me, that would just be so cool not to buy one, but to actually like find one in the wild, submit it and get it back. But I don't know. I think I'm just dreaming guys, but I'm gonna give it a shot. What the heck? It's only money and time. You can always make more money, <laughs> which you can't make of time. And, um, Norm, and I was just going to just like list this for sale. I'm like, yeah, but I always look at him for fun. I'm like, no way. Like this one's way too perfect. Like, don't get me wrong. Like someone would 
pay all day long, like 65, maybe 70 bucks for it, especially the way I, I show photos of it. But I think it's worth a shot sending it to PCGS and at least I can send, you know, another coin with it. I just, I don't know, like, you know, once, once you start submitting stuff, like you might as well submit like other things too. So I got like raw Morgans and stuff, but they've been selling so great, like at such a quick clip, like I hate just to tie up money and send it and then like be stuck with like this, like this literally, maybe it's not 600 bucks, but it's at least 75, let's say 80, eight times six. So it's at least $480 plus like three months of time and it's this is non-profit i mean these are great like they're beautiful but it's a to it was a total waste of time like i should have just sold these raw the the time that to put in perspective guys like the time that it took uh for these to get back which was you know almost three months and the money i could have like that that 70 or the 48 dollars of money that was sitting around for four or three months waiting for this to get back and then when it did come back it didn't make money um, I could have made so much more money and had so much more fun with that $480 investment, you know, just by selling the, these Eagles and getting some more and getting some more and then like finding stuff like this, right. Or finding something like this, like that, like that, that to me is fun. So, but I, you know, I, I wanted to give it a shot. I'm like, I'm like, man, these, all these 80, like I had a bunch of 86s. I ended up, you know, and I still sell them in my, in my stores. So I, I sell them on the regular clip. Uh, at least, you know, 10 to 15 a month. So I know what to look for when I go to dealers, but it's just like, come on, these were all perfect under the loop. Um, but they all came back 69. So it's like, okay, this 96 is perfect under the loop, but I don't know. They're not going to give me 70. I mean, if they do, that would be like hitting the jackpot, right? I just, I don't want to wait. Like, I, I'm so impatient. Like, I don't want to wait. So I'm probably going to spend like, do I really want to spend, what is it, like 80 bucks to send it in quick? I mean, this one right here probably be worth it. You know, this one alone is worth fifteen hundred bucks. I have very little into this coin. I have very little in this coin too. I, I grabbed this, I think, for like forty bucks on eBay, and someone just did a really nice job and took really nice care of it. Because anytime I see a ninety-six online with that doesn't have milk spots and it's a low price, like first of all, I think it's fake. But then when I actually get it in person, I always check it out. Make sure it looks good, take good photos, and then I just relist it and make a little profit. But I don't know. What do you think, guys? What should I do? I'm so perplexed. <laughs> all right. Well, all right. I'm going to do my video now on the uh, on American Air Force medal and get that out next. But I figure I would just show this off. But what would you guys do? Like, if you had, if you found like a perfect looking, again, it's a bullion coin. I get it. Like, most people are like, dude, you're dumb. Don't submit bullion coins. But like, Okay, if you found a 94 or an 87 even, like 87s are common. Um, any of the older date coins, if you find them and they're in perfect condition, like what do you do? Like do you just like say, oh, I got a perfect looking raw one or do you submit it and try again in mid state 70? Like it would be cool. Like if, if this got accepted as a mid state 70, this would be population 200. And think about all the dealers all the all the private owners that have submitted a 96 American Silver Eagle and they made like 3 million of these right like this is the key date like this lowest mintage which is like 3 million which is still a ton of coins but the reason why they're also super rare um, in that condition is that they're always like they're totally known for milk spots like really bad so I don't know I'm going to give it a shot we'll see what happens all right, thanks, like, share, and subscribe. And uh, let me know in the comments, like, what do you guys think? Like, am I stupid or should I just give it a shot? <laughs> All right, have a good rest of your night. Bye-bye.